Welcome back everyone. Today we're in the Giants Editor and I'm Jewel. And as you can see I've been doing a little bit of work on my Jewel's Peaceful Valley map and putting the shop in. I'm going to put the shop in in this video but it's there already but I'm going to delete it and show you all how to put it in. Uh, basically I'm not through with any of this. I'm just this is just me getting going. I hadn't really worked out this area yet I just wanted to go ahead and do a tutorial to show some how to do the shop that if the, if there's any on my channel that don't know so what we're gonna do is go ahead and delete what we have here but I'm gonna show you some things real quick I made some little spots on the ground on purpose because that's where I want to put my um, start spawn place and um, the store spawn place uh, and the start and the end so to speak start end start and end so what we can do is click on the vehicle shop this is going to highlight and if you was to click back on the shop trigger that would highlight as well so but this right here is the whole group meaning these little lines and stuff like that so all that extra stuff so we're going to click on that I'm going to close it so you can see here and I'm going to delete it. Normally it's in the gameplay up above, up here at the top. Uh, but I'm not going to put it, I'm going to put it in there when I come back in here. But normally it's up here, but I already deleted it from there. So so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to roll on down. Pretend you got a blank map or you're working on your map. You don't have that. I'm going to show you how to get all that set up. So we're going to delete this one so it doesn't exist anymore. Just hit delete. Alright, now, once you get in here and you open your map, you got it open, go ahead and go open the main game map. And it, in order to get there, go wherever your main game is. Uh, yours could be on C drive, program files 86, and so on. You know, you got to go through Steam if it's in Steam, etc. Uh, mine is in D drive, and it's the. Steam library, double click, Steam apps, double click, common, double click, PharmaSim22, double click, data, double click, maps, double click, and in this case, map US. And I would open this map i3D, which I already have it open to save time, but you would just double click on it, like so, and then you would pick the one giant editor you need to use, which would be 9.0.4 for FS22 hit OK it would open it up let it open I'm gonna close it because it's already open so I'm just jump to it so now once this opens you go ahead and come over here open up the gameplay area right there just click that and open it up come down to vehicle shop click on it and you can open it if you want to look in there but basically we're just gonna get that stuff right there so you're going to just make sure that one's highlighted. If you want to, go ahead and come over here and highlight that. Right click on it and click copy. So you'll get that title and that name. And then we're going to click on file. We're going to come to export selection with files. Click it. Uh, in this case, I already had one here. So that one didn't get deleted when I deleted the uh, other thing. So in this case, I'm going to click on here and click delete to get rid of that one now now there's not one in there okay it says nothing's in there I'm gonna delete that because it would have showed up like this or you would once you clicked on there you would go to where you want to put it it brought me here because I already did it but if you, if you weren't here you would just go to your game documents my games farm sim 22 mods pick the map pick the folder that you want to put it in or make one and I had made a folder let me see wherever it is I don't even see it there it is right here I had made a uh, placeables folder which we're gonna delete this i3d anyway alright so come in here right click hit paste that pops that name up for you hit save hit yes and yes and then you want to just close this down unless you're going to be doing other stuff in here and do not delete anything and do not 
change anything in here okay so in this case I'm just going to minimize because I'm doing this alright so also since this was already open you can go ahead and go get your map information if you don't already have it so your map XML is here in the same area that you just went to data maps maps US so you're gonna right click on it you're gonna open with the notepad plus plus or edit with there you're gonna find the shops the hotspot here's the shop you're gonna basically scroll down from up here till you see hotspots and shop and that's in the US one and let me show you that uh, it's it's not in uh, some of the other maps so if you went in I think it, I'm not sure if it's the Alpine or which one of those other ones it's not there's no hot spot in there so like if you back out of here and you pick one of these we can just open it and show you and see which one it is okay that one has one so that's not it let's back out again and go back to Alpine and find map XML edit with notepad plus plus see this one well this one don't have the animal well no it don't have the shop it has the animal so see this this alpine one you don't want to open because you don't get the information you need okay does that make sense alright so we're going to close those two now we're back to the one where we're the US one if you confused look up here at the top maps map US map dot XML alright so what you're going to do is you're going to click on the end of it on the shop line go all the way over right click on the highlighted area click copy do not cut this do not change anything in here this is your main game file so then when you're done with that you can close it alright and in this case now you need to go back to wherever your map is documents my games double click farming sim 22 double click mods go to your map and in this case find your map XML which in my case is here you may have to click through some more folders alright till you get to it you're gonna edit with notepad plus plus now pretend this line wasn't here if it wasn't here you're just gonna you're just gonna copy and paste that line in there so let's uh, delete this line real quick delete the shop line alright and so pretend that's all you had in yours the animal one or nothing you would just space down or if you had to add the hotspots uh, these lines you could if it, if it wasn't none of that you could do that but in this case say it that you got this one but not the others you just hit that space bar and in this case we would come all the way over because we did in the other area right click click paste and it puts it in line now we're ready to go get our coordinates okay our x y and z now in this case this is an x this one is x right here and this one over here is z there is no y and this one over here is x and then the zero is y and this one is z so we're going to go back to the editor alright we're going to import the vehicle shop that we and it it brings you right to it because that's where you were and if it doesn't just go back through like I said documents my games farm sim 22 mods the map and then find the folder you had it in click on it highlight it it's gonna pop up here click open and then once it pops in you can take that that vehicle shop uh, right here and you're gonna you're gonna take your mouse and uh, hit the scroll wheel press that middle mouse button and try to hold it down it's hard to do and drag this thing up and put it in gameplay it's kind of difficult I don't like using the middle one but that's how you gotta do it well you can do it other way but this way I'm gonna do it put it in there let go and now it's in there and I click on it and now you have it and you know you can you can go ahead and open it 
technically you can leave the vehicle shop at, at the zero mark and just move the uh, other stuff these three things depends on how you want to do it I guess um, it shouldn't hurt anything to move it but I'm just gonna move the trigger and stuff so I'm gonna put the trigger here control B we're gonna put it by the door there kind of bring it out a little bit it's facing that way now we're going to click on store uh, spawn place one start and we're going to bring it to this dot you put it wherever you need yours to be but make sure you leave plenty of room because you got vehicles that are going to spawn here and you're going to have it's going to I'll show you in game let's just get through alright control B as in boy left mouse click left mouse click and in this case I don't want the arrow facing that way because that's which way the the vehicles are going to face I want them to face this way so you're going to turn this to where you want it I'm going to try to line that up and what I'll do is I'll open this up on this plus sign click on the end point one and it's pretty well lined up where I wanted it that's good so I'm going to click on this one hit control B put it over here alright I'm going to spin it around and remember when you're spinning it around on the start one that's fine but you don't want to do that on the end one because you'll mess things up don't spin the end one if you want to spin it to where they have a line are in alignment only spin the start one it'll spin the end over if you start twisting it okay so now that one's there so we're going to open it click on that one so we, we don't want to move it just a little we want to twist it just a little then we're going to click on it and see that's pretty good um, for the most part we might turn it just a little hair more alright let's check it that's good now what we're going to do so after you make these go in alignment then you can move this back one the end ones uh, with the red arrow you don't want to move it from from the blue one right to left you want to move it in or out in alignment with the first one so if you want to make it longer click on it drag it out click on it drag it forward uh, let me move over where you can see better because you can't really see that alright you can drag it this way you make it longer of an area or a shorter area where they're gonna spawn in between but I'm gonna leave mine where it was so let me back it up but anyway you get the point it should be alright and then we move on to the next part is get our other information okay so now we pretty well got it lined up we could check it one more thing hit start watch this line and see if it lines up with your next one yeah pretty much hit in and then watch your other one yep pretty much it's not perfect but pretty much alright and that's good over there so now we're going to, to go to the trigger here's the trigger we need the coordinates put your cursor at the end of the numbers on the translate X hit shift control C as in cat and now we're going to go back to the map apps XML and if you don't remember where it's at it's in your map and wherever just go through the files till you find it map XML document you go highlight it right click edit with notepad plus plus it'll bring you back to here and then you're gonna take these numbers that we just got and you're gonna put first do the first three here in the teleport world position of the shop of the in the hotspot area highlight those don't get the uh, any of this stuff on the ends okay just the numbers and then you're going to click paste now you're going to take the same number and highlight this right click click paste but you're not through in this case you need to click right here in front of this this set of numbers in front of, even in front of the space there you're going to take away the middle numbers go slow where you can tell and then go up to that and leave one little space you take away the middle number 
and one space and so you only have one space in between and you got these numbers are x translate x and these numbers are translate z there is no x for the world position it's only for the transport world position do they have x y and z now you're going to hit save and now you're done in here you can minimize that go back to your map and since you did all that you got to hit save in here okay save that let it do its thing it ain't finished all right now what you're going to do you can do is go in your back in your map area and you're going to delete the i3d so you're going to highlight those two and delete them okay and now you minimize that and you should be good to go you already saved you already did all the stuff we're going to go in game and check it all right make sure your map is in the mods folder of fs22 we're going to open it and see what we got Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I appreciate all the new subscribers. The channel's growing quickly, and I appreciate every single one of you. So let's jump right in. Alrighty. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. You know, a lot of times people get help from videos and things or watch videos and they forget to subscribe. So I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the subscribe button and hit the like button if you like the videos. It shows me that y'all like these videos and you want to see more. So I do appreciate everybody. So let's see what we got here. So my computer's a little slow, so give it a second here. See what we got. Almost there. I got a lot of stuff opened up. Alrighty. Let's get on in there. And I'm going to buy some stuff. Sorry about the volume if it's too loud. Alright. So what you're going to do is you're going to run on over here. And you can see up there it's got the R menu. Open shop menu. So now you see that part works. Now you're going to come in here. You can buy a tractor. Hit select. And we're just going to lease this stuff, save on money. Alright. And I'm going to buy one tractor, and we'll buy one of these. Just to show you the, the difference in size of some of this. And then I'm going to buy one of these, because it's long, to show you. Real quick, I'm trying to hurry. Alright. We're going to go to the trailers, and we want to get a long trailer so that you can tell what it does. That's about the longest thing I can think of. So we're going to get it, and we'll get a couple of them so you can see. Alright, and I'm going to probably get a bunch of something, anything. It don't really matter. Um, I want to fill up that first roll because there's two rolls we made. And that way I can put a trailer on the next roll to show the size situation. We're just filling it up. We're filling up all those little slots. Okay, I don't have enough money. Fine. Alright, we got to go borrow some money. Whoops. Alright, borrow some money. Oh, we got to get out of here. Alright, let's borrow some money. real quick I don't know how much we need just getting some let's get a lot so we don't have any problems alright let's get out of here let's go back in here well first let's look see all the stuff and see how long it is now you notice this tractor seems like it's far away if you was over here you'd be like why is it over here but you can see when these start lining up they get almost to the building so you need to have it away from the building enough that these trailers when you buy them aren't going to hit the building so i figured that's about enough room in between here and you can see then it starts filling this side up now i'm going to start buying some of them white trailers because i want to show you when they get to here how tight it'll be okay 
So we're going to finish up real quick. I'm going to try to hurry. Get this thing done. Oh, we don't want that one. We want the white ones. Alright. Release all these real quick. And go in there and show you what it looks like. That should be about enough of them. Buy two more. That way you can get the idea. Alright, well, let's go see. Alrighty. See how close? So, But that's the two longest things I think we can get. So you can see that where I put those markers was just far enough apart that you could fit them in there. The biggest things if you filled it all the way up. So see where it kind of starts at? And you can tell the tractor would have started with the butt of the tractor probably here. And the front would have been about here probably. And then that, they just go from there. They kind of do the center point. But you can see, and you're running out of room over here too, so if you'd have moved it over too far, you would have problems there. So you gotta work that in, gotta figure that out. And, uh, but as you can see, it works. And I'm gonna show you, if you click in here and go to the map, you can see it. Well, I got all the tractors in the way, but you click on that vehicle shop, it's there. You just can't see it because it's covered up. But then you, kick, you hit visit and then it'll go there. So that means all the stuff we did and the XML and all worked. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you on the next one. We're, we're going to be working on the map, obviously. I've been doing a little bit here, as you can see. I'm not through. I'm just getting started. But I uh, hope everybody enjoyed and hope it helped you. I'm going to do some more on some of the other stuff uh, in another video. I don't want to make this video too long. But please hit that like button, subscribe, turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification. Every time I post a video, goodbye everybody.